All right, here's a quick video on how to use the basics of iMovie. Um, for more specifics, you'll have to uh, check our document with helpful hints, as well as to ask your uh, classmates for some help as well. So first thing here, I just pulled up iMovie. I have some projects on the left side here that I've been working on, but I need to create a new one. What I'm gonna start with is actually creating a new event so I can organize all of my iMovies for this specific project into one. So I'm gonna click New Event, and I'm gonna title this um, for our case, it's the a, a Century Of project, and that's going to be here. Now, I have nothing here yet. I want to create a new uh, iMovie. If I click New, I get a choice between trailer and movie, uh, and in this case, we want to do a movie. A trailer would be a specific template. We don't want to do that. Movie just allows us to create what we want. In terms of themes, there's lots of different themes you can choose from. For our um, news, you could choose the news theme, the newscast theme, um, sports potentially, uh, but we'll try to stick with one of those. I'm going to choose the news theme, theme for this one and give it a name. So on the basics of the screen, you can see on the left I still have my um, different projects available. I'm not going to be using that this area very much. It's going to be open. I want to make sure I'm selected on a century of though. Um, also on the left side of really important, we, this is where we find where we can add transitions, titles, um, any other background images, and sound effects and, and music here, okay? <clears throat> the top left section here is focused on uh, where we're going to have the pictures and videos that we're going to use in our video are going to be put, put here. So that's why it says import media because I'm going to put pictures and videos here top right this section is where I can actually see my video so I'm gonna be able to see a, a preview of it but I'll also have some options and you'll see these little buttons will come up where I can change for example how wide of an angle I have for my video uh, for my images if I have it zoomed in on an image or pulled out um, also the length that an image is going to be shown um, as well as if it's on a different speed in terms of how fast we move through it um, and that's where the Ken Burns effects will come in up here as well and finally, we have the timeline down here, and this is really straightforward. Your videos will go here. Any additional sound will go here. Okay, so I'm going to start by importing some media. Um, first thing I do is I need to get that media. So if I go to my web, I've got a video here. I'm going to use KeepVid to be able to download this. So I'll go keepvid.com, and I'm going to take this URL and copy it. Go to KeepVid. Click download. When I get to the download screen, if I want to use this video, um, I want to make sure I choose a video that has video and audio. So not just video only, unless for some reason you need video only. Uh, and the highest resolution, so the number one, I want to be high as possible. All these random ones we don't want to want to really play with. The number one uh, uh, type of file we want is an MP4. So in this case, MP4 Max 480, that looks like to be the best one for me. So I'm going to click on that to download. So now I've got my video has downloaded. I'm going to go back to iMovie, and I'm going to import my video. I can also drag and drop if I'd like to, but this will pull up a screen where I can then choose my specific video. So I'll go to Downloads. Let's actually turn this so it's content created the most recent one. And here's my video. Import selected. So now you can see I've got the import clip here. Here's the video, but I haven't added it yet to my, my official video that I'm creating. I'm going to choose how much of this clip I want. I don't have to add the whole movie, though I can if I want to. If I double click on it, I can then add the whole clip, and you'll see it goes in here. If I don't want to do that, I can also grab a certain section. So if I click out of it, and then I pull, I'm holding down when I click, then I can just take out a certain section that will go in that's specific, okay? So that's how I'm gonna add video. So we'll start, let's say I wanna add from here to here. Well, actually this is even, this is a more fun clip. Let's clip out of here. I'm gonna go from here. Let me pull how much of my video I want. To right there. Now I've selected my clip that I want. I can drag that clip now and drop it in here. 
So right now it automatically, you'll notice it has added something else besides just including my clip, which I can see here, it's also added a title. And you can see in my, on my screen here, my preview screen, that it's showing me that I'm gonna have the news style title and it's already inserted this. Now this is automatic, but it doesn't have to be exactly this. So if I want to, I can, for example, shorten it. So I can choose when I get to the end of the clip here, if you see the arrows that come up, they'll allow me to trim this and say, you know what? I actually want to make this six and a half seconds instead of eight seconds. At any time, I can move my cursor and hit the space bar and it will start playing the video so I can see where it is. So I can see how long that initial part takes. That was kind of awkward because it disappeared. Like anything, if I don't like how I cut this, I can just do Command Z and it will undo what, it, what just happened. I can also change the text on this. If I double click on this, notice up here in the preview, I can change it. So I can add different text. And now it's done. Clicking on the video clip instead, I can see I've got a couple options here. First of all, the blue part underneath the clip is where the audio is for the, for the actual uh, video itself. I can, this is at 100%, when I click on this line, I can actually make it change for the whole clip if I want to. In this case, I probably just want to leave it where it was, so I'm going to Command Z so it just stays at 100%. And if I want to, I can actually remove the audio from the clip if I want to be able to use it if, uh, for something else or if I want it to continue while another clip plays over it. So if I go up here, and there are a lot of options up here that you'll need to learn how to play with, um, but they're pretty straightforward if you, if you read them. And I'm looking through these. I want to be able to um, detach the audio from this. If you, see, if you see on Modify here, if I go down Detach Audio, Notice it just pulled the audio and now it's a green audio clip here. And that's how you can usually tell a separated audio clip by itself, it's gonna be green. And in this case, I can see again that if I want to, it's at 100%, I can turn it way up or way down. It's totally up to me. You'll also notice on the edge of the audio clips, these little knobs. And this is only when the audio clip is separated. If I pull this knob, you'll see it's starting to create this gray area. See that? What that's doing is showing me that it's going to fade out. And if I want my audio to fade out, maybe I want it to start fading after, with one second left in the clip, then it will fade down and you can see the audio goes down as it, as it um, ends. Same thing with this. If I drag that little knob, it's going to fade in for the audio at the beginning. Okay, and so that's how I do that. I'm gonna add an image in here as well so you can see what that looks like. I'm about to import, but I need to actually find my image first. So let's close this. I'll go back to my options here. Okay, that's kind of a small image. Maybe I want to get a bigger image. That one's pretty small too. Okay, I see this one is 1280 by 720. I'm going to use this image. I'm going to click View Image, Big Image, save it to my desktop. And then go into my iMovie. So again with import, I'm going to click the import button. I want to go to my desktop to find that image. Bring it in. And now up here, not only do I have my clip, but I also have this image and I can see there's a little picture button right here that shows me this is the image. If I grab this, I can't take a certain clip of it because I'm going to determine how long I want it to go for. So I'm going to drag it over here. I want to have it after. Or maybe actually this would be more interesting as the title sequence so I can drag it in front. So it'll be part of the title sequence. And notice here that the title goes for seven and a half seconds, or we'll make it eight seconds like it was before. If I want to, I can then say, okay, let me actually make this image last that long. So if I drag the edge, it's gonna increase the amount of time that the image is gonna be uh, in existence for. So now if I look at my screen, it's gonna show up with an image here instead of the video and when it closes out it will then go to the video. Now that was kind of an awkward transition so I want to go back and move my image back a little bit so it's lined up. That looks about it. And I'm also going to add a transition here. To add a transition I click on the transitions in the left side here and I have all these choices. 
The first one up here is for the theme, which is this news theme. And so if I want to have it be consistent with the rest of my news, I'm going to drag it here. And I can just put it right at that transition spot. And you'll see how that goes across the screen. That's the transition that it's added. If I don't really like that transition, that's the default one since it's part of the news theme, I can choose a separate one. So I can choose to put, let's see which one, oh, maybe a wipe. Let's see how this one works. And when I drop it in this little spot, you can see it wipes across the screen. I think it's better with the news, so I'm gonna undo that and leave the regular transition with the news going across the screen like such. Going back to my image, let's say if I wanted to zoom in on this image, I can go up here to the edit button. And when I click this crop button, you can see two things. First, I see a box. I see two boxes around here. One says start, the other says, says end. So right now, this big box is where the image is going to begin, and it's going to zoom into the small box at the end. So it's going to go from start to end, zooming in over the course of this clip. If I want to make it even more, zoom even more in time, I can choose to have it end even smaller. And if we do that, and I'll go back here to my to my view screen. We can see how much it more it zooms in. So it's zooming even closer to his face because I decided to zoom in even closer. Okay, and that's the Ken Burns effect. Again, I click on the image, I click on the crop tool, and then I can choose to change that as I as I want to. I, you can also have it zoom to an angle, so it'll start out here and then it'll zoom in specifically to a certain corner or something like that if you want to. Okay. Um, also up here, you can see if I hit the I button, that I can see how long that my video clip is going to play for with this uh, image. So if I want the image to actually last for eight seconds, I can just say, put an eight in here, and then it will make it eight seconds. In this case, I'll just leave it at seven for right now. Oops. Let me pull it back to where it should be. Okay. So if I want to add another title, and let's see, actually, it already added an ending title for me, but let's say I wanted to add, um, for example, with this video, something on the bottom. So something that would show maybe his name, kind of like that. If I go to titles, I get a lot of options for what kind of titles will come up. And again, the theme has opening, middle, and ending titles. So in this case, it seems like a middle title would make sense. However, if I want to, I could also add uh, one of these themes, where I mean one of these title sequences where I could come at the bottom of the screen in a certain way. And this is where you want to make sure you're being consistent with the rest of your group on this. But in this case, let's just say I want to stick with my news theme. I'm going to drag this and see how it turns up as a purple box. This I can decide where I want it to go. So let's say I want to have it right here, four seconds, middle title. And now I can edit it. So I edit the clip, click out of it, and now if I play from here, Maru comes up, there's the label, and then it goes away. Pretty straightforward. Again, if I want to make this last longer, just drag it, or shorter, just drag it. I can drag it from the end. Pretty straightforward. So that's how you're going to add your title sequences. And this is when you also want to add, for example, if you need to include uh, a year, for example, with your timeline um, images, or if you want to add a name for a cut line, which you don't need for your photos, but you will be um, adding at certain times where it helps us to understand who people are. It helps to have a title or a um, small um, label on the bottom of the screen. In terms of adding other sounds, um, you can see in here there's iTunes. It's trying to access iTunes. Um, so I've got my Taylor Swift here. If I want to add Taylor, maybe she's, okay, here's her new hit. I'm going to drag it down to the bottom. And notice I can kind of put it where I want to. Again, the music is going to be green. So I can drag it and put it where I want to. Again, I can grab the knob and fade it in or fade it out. And I know that this is going to play with that sound in the background. And again, I can drag. Um, if I'm not liking this screen right now, I can actually zoom out a little bit by dragging here. This can show me how, how uh, close I'm coming in terms of how specific I need to be viewing my video. 
So you might play around a little bit with that. In this case, I want to be able to have the music start from the beginning. So I'm going to drag this to here. Notice it's only playing for 13.8 seconds. It actually cut it off. So I'm going to drag it so it can continue through the end of the clip. One other trick with this that we can add is when we want music to fade because maybe we have a voiceover. Um, so to, in order to add a voiceover, let's say I want to add a voiceover over this clip. And actually for right now, I'm going to get rid of this. I don't need the audio from Maru here. So I'm just going to click on this and delete and it goes away. But I want to add a voiceover. So I'm going to go up here. I'm looking for where is voiceover. Hmm, voiceover, voiceover. Actually, one thing I can do to find it, if I go to the help button, if I just start typing voice. Oh, look, came up and shows me in the menu. That's kind of nice. Record voiceover. This is Maru the cat. Let's see if that worked. Do we have a voiceover? Nope, it's playing the music. That one didn't work. So I'm going to do a voiceover again. I already forgot where it was. There we go. Because I didn't even click the red button. Start recording. This is Maru. Oh, I got to wait. This is Maru the cat jumping into a giant box. Okay, I recorded my voiceover. So notice I hit the red button and I hit stop. If I want my audio to be able to be heard and I don't want Taylor Swift as loud while I'm speaking, then I'm going to want to have her music go down. And if I click on the audio uh, volume button here, you'll see that there's an option that's already turned on for me, lower volume of other clips. If I turn this off, and you can notice underneath in the Taylor part, if I click it on again, it gets moved, pushed down. And so I can choose, maybe I want to lower the volume of other clips a ton, like I barely want to be able to hear it. Maybe I only want it to lower just a tiny bit, or somewhere in between. So now if I go back and preview this, you can hear how that works. So the v audio went down for the song when my voice came in and then came back up when my voice was done. Again, if I click on this audio clip that I want to be heard, I can click on volume and turn on lower volume of other clips. Pretty straightforward, okay? So those are some of the basics right now. Um, let's see if there are other features. I don't think we need to add anything else. Oh, the one other one I'll show you really quick is if I want, let's say this video, I really like it, but I need to maybe crop it a little bit. There's too much at the beginning, or maybe I want to um, separate it so I can add a transition. I'm going to move my audio out of the way here. If I click on this clip, let's say right here, maybe I actually want to start the clip. I can go to Modify, and you can choose Split Clip, and that's Command B. And if I do that, where my cursor is right now, so right here, if I go to Modify Split Clip, it just took that clip and made it, and it split it. So now it's two. So now I've got transition and another transition. Now that's kind of awkward. And maybe I just did that so I could just delete that out. Or undo. I might have done it because I want to have another transition in here. And maybe I decide again that I want to change transitions. And I can add that transition to that spot. Just some way to add that. And again, Command B, that means I can split the clip. I can even get rid of the transition if I need to, um, to delete it. And that's how you do that. Hope this helps, guys. Good luck.